welcome to the power of breath. Energy, which is so powerful. And if we can utilize that, as they say, we are the healer. We are the healer of this body. And who is saying, I'm the healer of this body? I, the soul. Soul has capability of healing this body. And we have faith. Yeah. Our intention is clear. If our determination power is strong, the healing is already happening. So in this power of breath, as always, we're going to utilize different techniques, how this breathing can become a lifestyle for us. Yeah? People say we have many lifestyle diseases now. So perhaps our life isn't happening with the style that I should make a different style now. <laughs> if the style is not right, then of course we need to make it a different lifestyle. That's all it is. However way you want to make your life. You want to make your life peaceful, that will become your style. If you want to make your life ill, that will become your style. If you want to become well, that will become your style. It's all up to us. And that is why the science now is saying, it's up to you. How do you want to live your life? Peaceful, lovingly, disease-free? All of that is our will. We have the will, as they say, control your mind. And what does mind control? When the mind is in control, we can control all our five senses. And we become very clear in what I want to do and how I want to change my life. So let's go ahead and practice. And we can have interaction um, as we go further in the class. If you have any questions, we can answer or whatever um, you would want to talk about. Let's take our index finger and our thumb together, rest it on your knee, and we'll start with chanting of Om five times. Inhale. Chanting all brings us the whole consciousness, the energy together. Now with that energy, let us connect to that highest. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale with your nose. 
And also exhale with your nose. Let us just visualize that I am a being of peace. And exhale anything that is taking my peace away. Just continue with this rhythmic breathing. Inhale. I'm a being of love. Anything else that I am not, will it exhale, will release. Let us just continue this in a very rhythmic, very peaceful, joyful way. As I'm inhaling, visualize. If my mind is at ease, the body feels ease. And every word has a meaning. If you're balanced, there cannot be imbalance. If you're at ease, there cannot be disease. If it's good, then there cannot be bad there. There is love, there cannot be hate. So as we take that breath and connect to that consciousness who we are, we are simply pure soul, being of nothing with purity. Take that pure air as you inhale and visualize that it is going into each and every cells of my body. This filtration of the air connected to the highest visualize and connected to my father, highest of high, the anchor, love, best friend, companion, whatever you want to call. He's shining his rays of light and might and giving me healing vibrations. As I breathe in, every breath in his remembrance gives my body the energy of light and might. Just pay attention to the breath. Simply watching yourself sitting in the center of the forehead, shining light. Connected to the supreme light. I see no one other than him. Visualize every breath. As you take in, it's purifying each and every cells of your respiratory system. As you inhale, parachute opening, your lungs capacity is opening, bringing in perfect oxygenated blood. The air that is filled with oxygen and that is traveling around into our entire system of the body. The whole show is about visualization. The energy is manifesting to this body. This body is playing every role. We are experiencing. Just like when we experiment, and we get the result.
we go for a blood test, result comes, if it's good, my enthusiasm, my zeal, my energy is so high. Same time, if I go, my results are not is what I intended. My energy goes down. That is what we call fluctuating. I'm not in the state of awareness, being detached from this body. As I inhale, all I have to make sure that my energy is pure, radiating into this body, each and every cells of my body, the whole system is healthy, wealthy, and perfect. Wealth is knowledge. If I know with this power of breath, without this breath, this body cannot exist. So I'm getting to the source of who I am. And that source is using this energy of breath to come into this body to play the part. The soul has capabilities, but it's our mind, which is diverted and other things. Not so high of that energy, so the body is not being healed. Just five minutes every day, inhalation and exhalation will give you a perfect pure air. Okay. Now let's do our third breathing, forceful exhalation. If it's your first time, go ahead and bring your finger right below your nostrils. Do you feel the air coming out? It means you're doing a fantastic job. Why? Because there is no blockage anywhere. <laughs> There's a blockage. You'll have a hard time getting that air out. And that is what we call in the springtime cleansing. Yeah. We get sneezing. We get coughing. All of that is letting the air flow come out. Indication of fever means that my body is trying extra hard to get all that winter, that stagnant energy out of my body. So just continue to exhale. Just keep focusing on exhalation. Inhalation is very shallow, happening on its own. When our body gets tired, when our body is giving symptoms of saying, relax for a moment, then you say, okay, I will relax. Start again after five, 10 seconds. Let us just continue visualizing with this power of my breath and exercising all the organs in the midsection. Lots of important organs in the midsection. All together, they're creating perfect blood pressure. They're creating perfect balance of energy through pancreas stomach, digesting food, all of them are together working to bring that balance. As we are exhaling, all of them are getting the exercise. As you continue to exhale, 
just visualize that each and every organs in my midsection are healthy and perfect. Because it is my body, my mind creates health, then I'm healthy. If my mind creates I'm not well, then I'm unhealthy state of mind. So let us become yogi with that state of our mind. Irrespective of anything happening around, I'm in charge of my body. I know how my body works because I sleep with this body. I walk with this body. I think with this body, I decide everything with this body. So this body is my companion. It's giving you lots of hints throughout the day. Do you have a headache? The body is giving you symptom, saying too much thinking is going on. Relax. Your body is showing you pressure giving you heartbeat faster than usual. It's saying, are you worried about something? Just release it, let it go. What are you holding on to? Just that one thought will release that energy that we ourselves are blocking every day. And that is suppression of energy, suppressing meaning, I'm not communicating. Communicating with who? Yourself first. The body is communicating via symptoms. I, the soul, am a doctor. And the doctor has to give some best advice. And doctor, I, the soul, am aware. Why things are happening. So I tell my mind to relax. The symptoms will relax too. And relax. And now let's do our next breathing, which is for the brain. Let's now make sure that we become a neurosurgeon and fix any blockage that is blocking signaling going from the brain to the whole body. Close the right side, inhale through your left. Close your left, exhale right. Inhale right. Close your right, exhale left. Your left and exhale right. Inhale right. And exhale left. Inhale left. And exhale right. Let us continue.
it relaxes. <clears throat> this is also called focused breathing. If you want to know your focus, concentration, attention span, do this breathing every day, five, five, five minutes. And if you're able to regulate that five, five, five minutes without stopping, that means our clarity, our focus, our brain capacity will expand. As we inhale, <clears throat> of course, <clears throat> everything in our body is being generated. So with that focus and concentration, without being paying attention, everything is happening. The healing is happening without us knowing it. Five senses are being controlled. More and more we do this, you will notice that you are more focused, more concentrated. So now with our hands in our prayerful position, we bring our arms out and we say thank you to this body. Why? Because it was listening to me. It listened every direction I gave. First I said, let's chant all. Body said, sure. We used our mouth and we did it. And I said, let's take a deep inhalation and exhalation. Wadi said, sure, I can do that. And we did that for five minutes. Wadi was listening during that time as well. Then I said, let's do a forceful exhalation. Wadi said, sure, how much? I said, five minutes. Let's continue. Body said, sure, no problem. It did it for five minutes, didn't it? And then I said, I, the soul, am giving all these directions. Through the brain, all the signals are happening. And it has happened so many times that sometimes I forget to recognize what this body is doing for me. That's why we say this body is your gift. Take care of it. It's serving you day and night. Then I said, let's go ahead and do alternate nostril breathing. The body said, sure. For how long? I said, five minutes. It continued. Then it. So many things are happening according to our will. When I don't have that focus, what this body is doing. That's why they say, take care of your mind, mind and intellect, the energy of soul. Right hands are doing everything in the body. Byproduct of that is serving us every direction that we give. The next. Interlock your fingers on top of your head. I tell body to raise our arms. Body said, sure. Exhale down. So now as we are raising, if we have any pain, the body says, I'm having some pain. And the conversation is, that's okay. It will get better. Don't worry. Let's do this every day. Slowly and surely, you will feel better. So let's just keep moving with me. These are the conversations happening. Making our body the best friend that it can be, it will serve you to the last breath. Recognizing if I'm abusing this body, or I'm using it in a proper way. And the abusing can also happen with my not paying attention. It will multiply and it will give me dis-ease. So they say, use every energy in a right way and relax. Embracing pose, inhale, 
And let's say thank you to the highest who has given us this gift, this body. It's a temple where I, the soul, deity reside. And I should keep the temple clean. And visualize all five elements are serving me. I'm serving them back. That's why they say giving gives us happiness. Mm -hmm. Five elements are always giving us and it sustains us. So when we start giving, it will also sustain us. Whatever makes you feel good, can you share with others? Others will also feel good. The whole life is about what capacity you have and how much to that extent you can give. If you have a lot, say thank you God for giving me so much. And I bestow that to all the ones who are in need. And exhale. Relax. Now, left hand on your right shoulder, make a U. And go as far as you can on the left side. Visualize that my right side of the body is flexible and perfect. Left side, flexible and perfect. The body says, I will do everything for you. Just make sure you keep moving me. Because when you don't move me, the energy gets blocked. And that is why we're given actions to do. If we don't perform any actions, this body is of no use. Whether we perform our actions through our mind, our body, our senses, all are serving. And relax. Wonderful. Okay, now let's do our fingers and let's make sure they're dancing with joy. If they're happy, they'll be dancing in happiness. And who is dancing? <laughs> the mind is happy and that's why the fingers are dancing. If the mind was unhappy, Fingers cannot dance. Now visualize that I'm holding God's hands. He's giving me all his blessings, his powers. I'm going to use them in a practical way to help others. Let me help myself first so I can help others. And relax. Arms straight. Inhale. And exhale. Wonderful. Just visualize. My shoulders, elbows, wrist, fingers. All doing a wonderful job. Keep blessing yourself first. <laughs> if you bless yourself, others are already blessed by you. If you curse yourself, everyone else around you will be cursed because the energy radiates into however state you're in. If you're in a happy state, then you're blessing others. But if you're in the opposite, you're doing opposite. 
So no matter what circumstances, situations, whatever happens, let us not lose that state of awareness, that balance. And that balance is making me move. Sideways, inhale and exhale. Beautiful. Even if you do this exercise every single day, 20 times, 30 times, simple stretches, you will notice your muscles will be built. It's a repetition that gets us going. So if you repeat sleeping every day and it makes you feel good, we'll do it again. <laughs> if you eat every day, it makes you feel healthy, energetic, Eat every day. So this body, this body is doing exactly. Mind is saying. So let this mind be in a perfect state of happiness, at ease all the time. Inhale, up and around. And very easy stretches we're doing. Very easy. And these are all the joints. And if you move your joints every day, then your body will be healthy. Up and around. Beautiful. And let's reverse. Inhale and exhale. That's why when we are in pain, we go to doctors, and doctor says go for a physical therapy, right? So same thing if our joints. If anything is wrong with our body, let us become our own doctor. Try that first. 98% of the time, 99% of the time. Use your powers as much as you can. on your shoulders, elbows in, inhale, and exhale. A lot of people say that I need somebody to give me that inspiration, that motivation every day. You are your student and you are your own teacher. If we are student at that time, we are a teacher. And when you are a teacher, the student is also listening. And reverse. It all boils down to do I want to make myself better? Do I want to make my life better? Do I want to change my style? And if you change it, you'll notice the benefit. That's where the work is. We have to do some work, why not? put that work on us, right? You agree? All right, how are you feeling? Good? Let's inhale and exhale down. Inhale up again. And exhale down. Inhale up. 
Exhale down. Visualize my neck, shoulders. Completely relaxed. I'm easy. I'm never busy to take care of myself. Life is good. Everyone around me is wonderful. Everyone's part is wonderful. As I watch the scenes of the drama, I'm inspired by each and every soul. And others are inspired by me, right? Exhale in the middle, left. We are all each uniquely gifted to use our willpower. Clockwise. Inhale and exhale. Just visualize my neck and shoulders are completely relaxed. Feeling energy is radiating into my neck and shoulders. That is continuously connected to that anchor, my father. Supreme is constantly the stone power to us. When we become powerless, let us join and connect with that energy of the highest. We charge our battery. The first, if we do that. We are back on the stage show. And this is life. We are living beings. We are not dead beings, so living beings, it's an energy, it's a life source. It's a life giving hope. Our breath is that life-giving earth, that herbal medicine which goes inside our body. Our breath, every breath goes in and does wonderful job. Thanks. Okay, look straight. Move the eyeballs up and down, up and down. Let us visualize that my eyes are perfect, divine. They're healthy and perfect. I can see perfectly. I can see the vision of brotherhood in each and every soul I come in contact with. They're all my brothers and sisters. Just continue. Top and bottom. Right, left, without moving your head. See how far you can look, right side and left side. Just visualize wherever I look. Everyone is beautiful. Every scene of the drama, wonderful. Everyone is perfect. 
what a wonderful drama, what a wonderful part in this drama that I'm playing. And that is self-esteem, self-respect for yourself, clockwise, or visualize that I have abundance of everything I need from my father. As I now sit on top of the globe, radiating those powers of love, peace, happiness, healing vibrations to all my brothers and my sisters. They're all healthy, wealthy, and happy. And visualize with love and compassion. It's what I'm giving them, my cooperation. And release, inhale and exhale. Just continue. And I have gone to the whole earth, gave blessings to everyone, and relax. Okay. Are you all doing good? Any questions so far? No? All doing very well? Any questions? All right, wonderful. Here are some tips for a spring. We are in spring now, right? Cleansing. So this is the cleansing time. This is also, you know, sowing the seeds, right seeds. So just make sure that you drink lots of hot water, warm water, whatever you can drink, tolerate throughout the day, sip that water. In the morning, drinking that hot water, will help cleanse the body. Also, in this during this time, you want to make sure that if you want to bring in some raw food in your diet, this is a good time. And chew your food at least 32 times. When we chew, we digest properly. So all the work needs to be done outside, chewing, and then when you swallow, it's almost like a water. That will help the digestion. A lot of winter stagnant energy is there, so we need to cleanse out. So every day, every day, possible, do this breathing. This breathing is so amazing. Just cleanse your body that way. Meditation, when you're doing breathing, your mind is actually calm and peaceful. You can consider this to be part of that meditation every morning. Just sit with yourself and just breathe for some time. That will also cleanse the body. Because this is where all the energy is. because it's cleansing, okay? it's cleansing. So let it come out, let it, let it cleanse the system. If the cough is coming up, let it come out because it's trying to cleanse you. Yeah. Don't, don't let it, so when you drink hot water and all of that, stagnant energy in terms of mucus or sneezing, all of that will try to come out. And eating lots of fruits, Sweet, sweet fruits, if you like, uh, eat those, salad, whatever, you know, stuff that you eat. If you want to really, really get better in taking out most of our problems from the body cleansing, eat between eight to six or eight to seven. Or if you go behind, like seven o'clock, then, you know, do five o'clock like that. 
if you just eat between that period, most of our problems will get resolved. Okay. And um, yeah, any any other questions? Anything? You can ask anything. So I No? All good? That's very nice. That means you all are content, happy, know how to take care of your body, and that's wonderful too. Wonderful to hear. This monthly workshop that we do, Power of Breath, this actually again reassures us, you know, to be together and just sharing whatever uh, we have. Uh, and when we share, we're giving those blessings. We can give others because so many people are suffering. So if you come across anybody who's going through, you know, hard time, help them. If you've learned breathing, you can teach them breathing. If you're at ease, you can tell them to become ease, right? So it's all about our self cleansing and making ourselves better. Let's do our last breathing. Close your ears. Index finger will go on the forehead. And gently close your eyes with it, okay? Let's take a deep inhalation and chant on through our nostrils. Together. Let's say thank you to everyone. Thank you, God. Thanks the Mandiyan, that powerful energy. Go ahead and radiate that with your whole body. Okay. Well, thank you all again for joining. We'll see you next month. Wonderful to have you.